my opinions so if you have your own opinion about this video please leave it down in the comment section below and we can all talk about it like mature life forms i don't know you so without further ado here's my top 10 characters i want in super smash brothers ultimate coming at number 10 we have sora from kingdom hearts now, Sora is going to be a tricky situation, this is why it's at number 10, is because Kingdom Hearts is based off of different types of Disney characters. Now, Disney and Nintendo aren't exactly uh, a joint thing, as far as I know, when it comes to Super Smash Brothers, because, I mean, that'd be a very interesting thing to see with Donald Duck and uh, Mario on the same screen. But... Then again, we have Cloud, and we have Snake. So, is it impossible? No. Never mind the fact that Kingdom Hearts 3 is being released very, very, very soon. So, with that, they also might not do it, but then again, they might as well to promote the game. But I think Sora for this game would be pretty interesting. If it was me, I personally would have Sora not do attacks based off of Goofy and Donald. If um, there were certain things that weren't okay with this idea of being in the game. But I would have like assist trophies being like the Heartless or other members of the game. But uh, as far as attacks go and Super Smash, uh, I would also have Goofy and Donald leave out of it. Now, if... There were certain handshakes above this idea that were okay, then, my lord, we have Donald and Goofy on the same screen as Mario. So, that's, that's, that's a thing. Moving on to number nine. Coming in number nine, we have Banjo and Kazooie. Now, Rare Company even said it would be okay and that they could see Banjo and Kazooie in this game. So, why wouldn't they? I mean, it would be really, really cool to see Banjo and Kazooie on the same screen as Donkey Kong, you know, representing all that. So, I think this would be very interesting. Um, I'm curious to see what type of character gameplay Banjo and Kazooie could hold. But, I mean, that would be very interesting in my opinion. Plus, I kind of think that they would play like sort of a tag team kind of battle, you know, like Duck Hunt would. So... That would be very interesting, and I think that this is a pretty decently good option for the Super Smash Bros. roster. Moving on to number 8. Coming in number 8, we have Captain Toad. Now, for years, I've been wondering why Toad was just a move that Peach or Daisy could do. Especially Daisy, now that she's an Echo Fighter. And I've been wondering, why doesn't Toad get his own spotlight, you know? What, give Toad a characterization. Don't just make him an attack. And then Captain Toad had his own games. Well, here's his opportunity. Have Captain Toad be in this game. I can see a bunch of really cool attacks now that he's an actual character and not just a side, you know, Toad. Um, one problem, Captain Toad doesn't exactly jump, so they might do something with that. Or they just, because... You know, Daddy Sakurai can do what he wants, so they can give him the power to, for once, <gasps> jump. But I personally think that Captain Toad would be a very interesting member to the team, especially that he's been on the Wii U for quite a bit. So, moving on to number seven. Coming in to number seven, we have Sans from Undertale. Okay, hear me out. I personally mostly want to see Sans and Ness fight in Super Smash Bros. format. Plus, I think it'd be really funny how they would 3D animate this guy. Plus, there's been a lot of indie games getting the spotlight. Uh, Shantae the Magic Genie, Shovel Knight, uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine, and uh, Terraria. But uh, I personally think that there would be quite a couple of games to represent indie games that would be really cool. One of the biggest favorites, in my opinion, is Sans. And I think Sans would be really cool to be in this game. Plus, the final smash in the final corridor. 
That'd be really awesome. Or even fight in the final corridor. Assistant trophies could be like Papyrus and Undyne and Frisk. Heck, we could even have, uh, uh, what's his name? That, uh, one doctor dude to be in it. I don't know. It's been a while since I played Undertale, but I personally think that this would be a very awesome choice. Never mind that my brother is obsessed with Undertale and me just sending him the trailer of Sans being in Super Smash Bros. would probably just make him shit bricks. So, without further ado, number six. Coming in at number six, we have Shovel Knight. Like I said, indie games have been making a really, really good um, time for themselves this year. I... Uh, I'm trying to find the right words to use that for. But my point is that Shovel Knight also is on the Wii U game and also has its own am amiibo. So that being put into mind, that would be very interesting to throw that sucker in Smash. I think he had a skin or something for a Mii Fighter in the last Super Smash Bros. game. So him actually being a full-on Full Force character would be really, really cool. Now that that's been said, going on to number five. Coming in at number five, we have Decidueye from Pokemon. Now, honestly, my thoughts of this are basic. Every year of Super Smash Bros., when a new game comes out, they put in another Pokemon character. For when Super Smash Bros. first came out, they had Pikachu. When Melee came out, they had Mewtwo, Jigglypuff... Pichu, I think they had Jigglypuff in the first Super Smash Bros. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. Um, I'd have to check back on that. But then Brawl came out, and we suddenly got Pokemon Trainer, Lucario, and then the last Super Smash Bros. game came out, and we got Greninja. Freaking Greninja. Representing the Kalos region, or Gen 6. Now, unless they're going to introduce Gen 8 Pokemon, I think Decidueye would be really cool. And originally my thoughts were, well, we have Charizard the Fire Starter, Greninja the Water, so we should have a Grass Starter. However, they brought back Pokemon Trainer, who has Ivysaur, so they have a Grass Starter. However, I still think that Decidueye would be really cool for this. Never mind, he's already in Pokemon Tournament DX. So I think that'd be really cool. My original thoughts were Zero Aura or Marshadow, because Zero Aura is like humanoid animal Pokemon looking, and Marshadow is fighting type and adorable. But I still want to see my owl take the stage. Plus, ghost types. Moving on to number four. Coming in at number four, we have Springman from Arms. Not the Springman from Mega Man. No, 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 no. Screw that guy. We got this guy. Now, here's an interesting concept. ARMS is one of the few games representing for the Nintendo Switch and was also one of the first games to come out for the Nintendo Switch. And I think that Springman would definitely be a good character to represent that game. Or Ribbon Girl. Frankly, you could have Ribbon Girl be an Echo Fighter of Springman, or vice versa. Though, frankly, that'd be a very interesting thing to do... Because Little Max in it, and you could have Boxer v. Boxer, or you could just straight up make Springman an Echo Fighter of Little Mac. How that'd be done, I'm not quite sure, because, you know, Springman has pretty damn long arms. But, however this would work, I think Springman would be a definite good character to represent the Nintendo Switch. Moving on to number three. Coming in at number three, we have Crash Bandicoot. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale made the biggest mistake in not having Crash Bandicoot in the game. You know, the mascot of PlayStation, not in PlayStation All-Stars. Even if they did, who, who would we fight him against? Spyro? Doi? So I personally think that it would be a cool idea to put Crash into this game. Never mind that the Insane Trilogy is also available for Nintendo Switch. Hmm. And if you even dare say it's impossible, we have Sonic, we got Mega Man, we got Pac-Man, we got Mario. We we basically just need, like, Crash Bandicoot and we're good. Even if they put Spyro in Super Smash Bros. alongside of Crash, 
I still think that crash is kind of better suited, you know, because Spyro's got that Skylanders thing going on. But I definitely want to see Crash Bandicoot Tango with Mario. I think that'd be pretty damn sweet. Moving on to number two. Coming in at number two, we have Raymond. I think that Raymond should belong in this game. I don't really have a reason why. I just see a lot of requests saying, hey, Raymond should be in it. And I see that, I'm like, ooh, you know what? That is a good idea. He kind of just fits, and he was also a trophy in the last Super Smash Bros. game. So why not just give him a spot? You know, like they did with Villager. They made him a trophy for so long, and they finally made him a character to represent Animal Crossing. Well, have Raymond represent Raymond, then. Have one of his attacks be like, and I really want to see this. Please, please make this an attack. Um, just like Chris Redfield, no, not Chris Redfield, uh, Frank West, sorry. Frank West in Marvel vs. Capcom Ultimate 3. Uh, one of the attacks that Frank West has is a zombie comes at, from, at him from behind. He takes the zombie, grabs him by the legs, throws him around in a tornado fashion, and throws the zombie at him. Have Raymond do that same thing, except a zombie have a rabbit. A rabbit just goes, bah! He comes from behind, grabs him by the ears, throws him at his enemy. I want to see that as an attack. And if that is ever an attack for Raymond that he's in Super Smash Bros., I effing called it. Moving on to number one. Coming in at number one, we have Shadow the Hedgehog. I have been wanting Shadow in Super Smash Bros. for so damn long. Since after Melee, in fact. Ever since I saw that trophy of uh, Shadow the Hedgehog in Brawl, I was like, ah, shucks, they made him a trophy instead of a character, dang it. Because after Melee, I was like, well, let's get Sonic, let's get Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, let's do it. These four Sonic characters I want, let's go. And Tails in Super Smash Bros., I can see having her his own move list, but, you know, too many people actually crave it. If Me, personally, if he's not in the game, it's whatever. If he is, pretty damn cool. But I want Shadow. I don't care if he's an Echo Fighter or not. I want Shadow the Hedgehog, dang it. He is so cool, and I don't care what anybody says. One of my favorite GameCube games was Shadow the Hedgehog the game. I don't care what you say, I don't care what your opinions are, that game was my shit. Now, Shadow the Hedgehog as a character is badass on his own. My lord, you could have one of his Super Smashes be Chaos Control in both different formats, just like how Ryu has two Super Smashes. Have Shadow have that same shit going down. Or you could just make him turn into Super Shadow and just fly around the field just like Sonic does. I don't give a shit. I just want Shadow in this game. Now, seeing the trailer of Super Smash and seeing all those trophies, I didn't see Shadow as a trophy this time. Which means my fingers and toes are crossed. That is all the characters I want to see in Super Smash Bros. If you agree or disagree, leave a comment down below and let me tell and tell me what character you want to see in the new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, today's date is the 7th, 11th of the month. So it is July 11th. Which means I am posting this video before any other Super Smash Bros. trailer gets released. So if any of these characters are in the game, I will have the power to say, Called it! I hope that your characters are in the game. I hope my character's in the game. I know that there's not going to be a lot of new characters in the game because of how big the roster, but there will be some new characters. Hint, some. I know that. We know that. So, fingers and toes crossed, everybody, for your favorite character. Until then, stay ghastly, Ghost Type family. Bye.